One really welcome addition to the video features in Lightroom 5 Beta is the ability to add videos to a slideshow. Well, why is that? Because we can create a mixture of slideshow and photographs and videos? No. What it does is for the first time ever, it gives us the ability to edit multiple clips inside of Lightroom and actually create a short movie. So think of the slideshow feature as your cheat's way of working in a timeline. Let's have a look and see how it works. So let's have a look and uh, filter out and just get our videos right now. So I'm just going to hit the backslash key and I'm in the library uh, module. And by doing that, what it does is it brings down my filter bar. And I want to choose attribute. And I'm just going to click on this last little button under kind. And then what it's going to do is show me my videos. So now we can scroll up and down. We can see just all the video files have been isolated. And where have they been isolated? Wherever I selected, which is right here. I'm inside the Chicago folder inside of my um, collections here. I could click on all photographs and it would show all the different photographs and filter them. But right now what I want to do is just grab the uh, couple of these. I'm going to double click on one right now and I'm just going to hit the play button and you can see I've got all these people running in panic from Godzilla. Oh, really, it's not Godzilla. What it is is just a storm coming in Chicago and these are actually the La La Palooza people running for shelter because there's a big uh, storm coming in. So I'm just going to click this and open it up a little bit and you can see that we can trim the video just like before. Nothing new here. So maybe we're going to take and just trim out that very beginning bit with these people running for cover. And then um, maybe we can have a look at a different section there. So we've got that one there, maybe this one next to it. Let's have a look at this one. We've got this storm coming a little bit later on. And we've got more people coming now and maybe we can scrub through it a little bit. Let's have a look here. And we can start to see the clouds coming in, the storm coming in. So let's just set the in and out points just by dragging here and there. And then we're just going to close that out again. So what we've done is we've just trimmed these two clips. Now in the past with the uh, video clips, that's, that's all we could really do is we could apply colors and we could set the in and out points. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the slideshow module. So under the slideshow module, when I click on here, we're actually going to open up the slideshow and now we've got these two are selected and here's something that's really cool is we can now actually have videos in a slideshow which means with these two selected and I hit a preview button here we can see that it's going to play both the videos it's going to play one and it's going to blend into the other one so here's the good news is that we now have the ability to actually edit video now by trimming them and then putting them together as a slideshow and we can actually do that now as a cheat way of actually editing different clips together so we can actually put them together in succession now if we wanted to make these look a little bit better of course we could apply our different presets to those if we wanted to give them a little bit of a, a feel so let's do that let's just go back quickly to our develop uh, our library module sorry I'm not going to show you how to create the presets because, you know, that I've covered that in other videos and stuff before. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go over here now and we're just going to apply a quick crease, uh, preset here. So we can go into the, the uh, quick develop options here. And if we want, we can go, here's our different presets here. I've got one here I've called the video split tone. And I select that and we know, yes, it can't do certain things. And notice it's applied it to both of these now because they've been selected. Go back to our slideshow and now we're going to hit the, our preview again and this time we've got kind of you know a, a cinematic more effect there with the clips so we could drop different clips in if we wanted if we wanted to include another clip we could just simply select it here and now we've got a slideshow with three clips there and of course you know we could go under here and we could uh, play around with it and do different things but we could also go under our develop settings here and we could apply our video split tone right there so now we've got three clips that we've applied this to and we could hit the preview button once again and now in the um, slideshow we've got three clips so you can kind of see how we could start to build our little story there very quickly and easily and of course the other thing too is if you want to do captioning you would just play around with the overlays and do stuff like that so you can see that we've got the three clips and uh, and there they go using the slideshow. And of course, we just export that out as a video. 
So uh, play around with that, and uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun because you're going to realize that Lightroom has really taken a huge leap by doing this, by just kind of sneaking these into the slideshow. We can actually use a Lightroom as an all-in-one editing tool, although not fully as featured as you know Premiere Pro or even Photoshop. We can still get some pretty cool stuff done right here now.